All right, Shalom. Coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yabusha, Bahashim Rukakudash. I want to give the honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and grace and peace to you elect around the four corners of the globe, believing and pushing his truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rakaya from the GMS Orlando camp. And tonight I want to go into a lesson dealing with the importance of the brotherhood. All right, and tonight's lesson is inspired by this video I caught last year, uh, going into this young Jake that is transitioning into the next level of his training. All right, and as I was watching this video again, it had me meditating on how important the brotherhood is concerning our development as men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, because the brotherhood acts as that support system and that reproof system that we need in order to build wisdom, knowledge, understanding, faith, and character. All right, and to bring us up on that level that the Lord needs us on before the trial of our faith. You know, and to have a bunch of brothers around you that carry the same mindset, that have the same goals, that uphold the same standard, and are able to point out your weaknesses and complement your strengths, is priceless. All right, that's priceless. You know, and it's important that we cherish the brotherhood as much as possible while it's still around. You know, while the evil days are not fully upon us. You know, and as it says in the book of Proverbs, roughly paraphrasing, iron sharpeneth iron. You know, and this is how we are, are sharpen ourselves with the brotherhood, all right, with brothers, by with being a brown brothers. You know, because each brother carries a piece and a gift of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh within them. You know, and each piece that every brother carries is not only helpful to the body, but helpful towards our personal development. You know, so it's important that we cherish the brotherhood as much as possible while it's still around because the Lord is working with and through brothers to perfect his saints, you know, to perfect us before the hour of temptation, you know, before the day of Jacob's trouble. Lord, when will we be of that number? You know, so the brotherhood is very important towards our development. All right. Towards our character, you know, toward our our. our, our conduct as men and or women in this truth you know it's important all right to be continually around men of understanding because we are who we surround ourselves with all right who you surround yourself with highly influences who you are you know and to get this scripture real quick prove what i'm saying this is Sirach or ecclesiasticus all right chapter 27 and verse 12, it says, I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, the discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom, but a fool changes at the moon. If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but he, but be continually among men of understanding. The discourse of fools is irksome and their sport is as wanton of sin. All right. And it's important that we're continually around men of understanding because who we surround ourselves with highly influences who we are. All right. Highly influences our character, our morals. All right. The way we walk, talk and conduct ourselves in this world. All right. And if you're con constantly among the indiscreet, you're going to be indiscreet yourself, man. You know, you're going to find yourself as one of the fools of this world. But if you're constantly among the men of understanding of this truth of your how by Shai, you know, you're going to be a man or a woman of understanding yourself. You know, and it's important, like the scripture says, to when you're among the indiscreet, to observe the time. You know, you're not supposed to be around the niggas of this world, man. You know, their conversations should irk you to the bottom of your core. You know, what do these people have to talk about outside of wickedness, man, outside of this world? You know, what do these people possibly have to talk about that's beneficial to our to our development? You know, beneficial to our state of being, beneficial to our nation, beneficial to the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, these people have nothing to say. So when you're around the indiscreet, observe the time. You know, you want to constantly be around men of understanding. And if you can't physically congregate with brothers, well, the congregation comes from watching the videos, you know, being present on the videos, you know, uh, listening to what the elders have to say, listening to what different brothers have to say, you know, and, and taking and building from that, you know. But um, with that being said, um. We might play a little bit of this video, but um, I have a couple of scriptures I want to get. Lord's witness to edifying unto you, elect. All right, this is First Corinthians chapter twelve, and verse. 
I want to get down here to verse 27, but we're going to start here at verse 4, and we'll jump down. All right, it says, Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit that, um, to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the Spirit of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man several as he will. All right. And each brother has a different lot, you know, and a different gift in his truth. You know, it's like a puzzle. Each brother has a piece of the puzzle that when uh, it's brought, when it is brought to the table, helps complete the puzzle. You know, and each brother, each gift that every brother have, has helps complete the spirit that's within us, you know, helps complete the gift that is within us. You know, that's why it's important to be continually among men of understanding. But continuing on in verse 12, it reads, For as the body is one and have many members, and all members of that one body, being many are one body, so also is the Mashiach. Jumping down, it reads, in verse 14, For the body is not one member, but many. All right, jumping down, let's get to the point. All right, verse 27, now ye are the body of Hamashiach and members in particular. And God have set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, but covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet shew I unto you a more excellent way. All right. So each brother has a different gift and lot in this truth. All right. We are not all the same member. All right. We're not all the same member of the body. You know, we're not all the same. If we were, there'll be no room for growth. That's why the Lord spread it out the diversity of diversities of gifts. All right. That's why the Lord gave brothers different measures, different lots. All right. Because if we were all the same, there would be no room for growth. So the Lord gave us different gifts so that when brought to the table, um, help for the edifying and the perfecting of the saints. All right, let's grab this in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 11. And reason, he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Mashiach, till we all come in a unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, Unto the measure of the stature of a fullness of a Mashiach. All right. And that's what the ministry is set up for. All right. It's set up for our perfecting. All right. It's set up for uh, so that we all come into the unity of the faith. This is why we have the ministry. This is why we have the brotherhood. All right. For our perfecting. All right. To perfect us before uh, the evil days come upon us fully. You know. But with that being said. Um, let's grab this video. All right, a little bit of this video, and um, we'll close it out. All right. God's voice. God's voice. God's voice. Yes. Aha. Stand. Shalom. Aha. Stand. Shesh. Because your father isn't here. I wish he was. I know you. I wish he was too. Um, well, because. You know, and, and for the case of a lot of brothers, you know, um, due to the curses, you know, the father wasn't present in our homes, you know, but the Lord has given us spiritual fathers in the forms of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down that are able to teach us and guide us in the correct way all right, of the truth. You know, men who have experience, you know, men who have been through the, uh, the trials and tribulations uh, that we go through and are able to give us wisdom and guidance, you know, according to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. 
you know, men are, who are able to break down the scriptures, you know, men who are able to, uh, through experience, uh, go into different scriptures and go into different uh, prophecies. You know, the Lord has given us spiritual fathers, you know, that are able to bring us up in the way, you know, who have brought us up in the way through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know. He's not here. I want to do something symbolic, special for you. I didn't have my father either, okay? But here I am. Because I had God the Father. His word says he would be a father to the fatherless. And what he did for me, he supplied men along the journey to help keep me up during my most critical years of my life. And this is the most critical years of our life. And it's true, all right, because as the scripture says, we have been reborn again, pursuing the John the third chapter, all right, we, we have been reborn again, all right, and with the rebirth, we've had a transformation of our mind, all right, we're being brought up as babes, and it's true, you know, and it's important, and these are the critical years of our youth, you know, when you're a child, it's critical that you get, you have a father, you know, you have a, a father figure in your life for those first couple of years of your development. You know, because it teaches you responsibility. It teaches you uh, wisdom, you know, the way of the Lord. You know, you, you have a lot of you gain a lot of traits that a man needs in order uh, later on in life. You know, so it's critical for our development that we have these spiritual fathers. You know, we have these different men in our lives that are able to teach and guide us, you know, and give us different experiences, you know, to teach us different uh, uh, the, the way, you know, you have about was shy. And then when I was able to stand on my own, Caden, he told me to go back and get my father. So it may be some years before that relationship gets right, but I know he loves you. And you should keep praying for him. Because I love him, I care about him. Maybe when he see this, it'll move his heart. But as we get as as men, I can speak for a man, a young man, even your father's age. A lot of times we don't know what we're doing, son. We put things before our children and the most important things in life because we're so concerned about what's happening at the moment. So your father may be working a lot of whatever. I did a lot of foolish things. I'm going to skip through it a little bit. So what's going to happen, uh, your stepfather, Dwayne, is going to do your push-ups first. And then it'd be me. Then Nike, then your brother uh, uh, Gabriel, and then it would be Ron, representing as another father. Do you understand? Yes. So all you have to do is when we get when I when uh, Dwayne gets done, all you got to do is hop off him and lay on me. Then when I get done, but well, I'm gonna go as many as I can, and then you go to the next man. Then you go to the next man until you off. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That just means, Kate, you are not alone, son. You are not alone. Trust me. Do you understand? Yes, sir. We'll affirm you. We'll build you up. We'll train you. We'll discipline you. And we're going to be here for you. You just got to know you got somebody to lean on. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Zeus! And this is representative of us bearing each other's burdens in this truth. All right, pursuing the Galatians, the sixth chapter. All right, if you grab that, this is Galatians 6, and I'm going to start at verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one as in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Hamashiach. You know, in the brotherhood, you know, as it stands, we, we bear each other's burdens, you know, because we're going to go through certain low points and valleys in this truth that you won't be able to handle by yourself certain times. You know, and with that being said, brothers are able to pick you up, you know, in certain areas that you're lacking, in certain areas that you weaken. Brothers are able to pick you up, you know, and bear the burden with you at certain points in time. Just like uh, Job and his friends, you know, brothers are able to pick up and bear that burden with you, which is needful for our development, you know. Going back into the, the video. Be facing the front.
Keep going. You gotta take my the baton from me, son. Come on. God's gonna equip you. Keep going. Fight. Go, son. Go. see in this video you know cherish the brotherhood while it's still around you know because it's important for our personal development and for the development of other brothers you know it's, it's helping to bring us into the perfection that our perfection you know so with that being said shalom